What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 8.4 on a Mac. Now this is a very simple process. A lot of people think that it's complicated or convoluted. It's really not, I promise you that. If you just follow this tutorial step by step, I'm gonna walk you through it. You'll be jailbroken in no time. Now of course, if you do have any issues, be sure to comment in the comments below, or you can follow me on Twitter and ask me on there, and I'll be sure to answer you guys. I'll be sticking around in the comments of this video answering your guys' questions. Now, if you're on 8.3 and for some reason you don't wanna upgrade, this process works completely fine with iOS 8.3 as well. So just follow this tutorial and we'll get through this together. So the first thing that you wanna do is download four different packages. I'll put links in the description below for all of these. So you just click on it, download it, throw it on your desktop, and then you can follow this tutorial step by step. So the first thing that you're gonna download is iTunes. And this is gonna be the older version just to you know get rid of that possible issue that some people are having with the newest version of iTunes. So this is gonna be the 32-bit version, and I'll put a link in the description below. Like I said, just download that, throw it on your desktop. Next, we're gonna be using VMware Fusion. I've actually used a couple of different virtual machine programs. This seems to be the easiest one to use just because it has drag and drop capabilities. So I'm gonna show you why that's important later in the video. Next, we have the Taiji jailbreak. Of course, we're going to need this in order to jailbreak our device. And last but not least, we have Windows 10. So this is going to be the ISO that we're gonna be installing on VMware Fusion. So basically, we're going to create a virtual desktop of Windows 10, as you can see right there. And then we're going to use the Taiji jailbreak and the old version of iTunes in order to jailbreak our device. So just a quick rundown of that. So now all we wanna do is double click on VMware and I'm gonna walk you through the install process of this as well. So we have this right here, so we're just gonna double click on it and it should go ahead and open up. Now let's make sure that I'm not running two versions of this right here. All right, so if you get this pop-up, that's fine. Just go ahead and click open and it should go ahead and open up. So now, if you have administrator password, just go ahead and type it in. And you can see it's going to initialize the VMware Fusion and then walk us through the install process. Now, once you get this pop-up, you're going to select install from a disk or image because this ISO is actually an image. So we're going to click on that, make sure it's highlighted, and then click continue. So now this is where we're going to create our new virtual machine. So we're gonna click on use another disk or disk image, and then we're going to go to our desktop and then click on the ISO, so the Windows 10 ISO right here. Click on open, and then you can see that's gonna highlight right there. So now we just click continue, and then you can type in your password if you want to. I'm not gonna do this just because I don't wanna have a password on my virtual machine, so we're just gonna click continue. We'll get a little pop-up right here just because we don't have a key. We don't actually need one because this is basically like a demo. So we're just gonna open this up. Now at this step right here, what we wanna do is click more isolated, just to make sure that we're not sharing any of our documents from our Mac to our Windows virtual machine, just because it can cause some issues if we install iTunes, which we're going to do. So we're gonna click on continue, and you can see right here that we actually have only one gig of memory. So what I would recommend doing and what I'm going to do is bump this up to two gigs. Now it should go ahead and work if you have just one gig selected, but like I said, it's gonna go a little bit smoother if you do the two gigs. So we're just gonna do Windows 10 Taiji jailbreak. Doesn't matter what you save this as. And click save, and then it should give you a little screen right here and then give you some options right over here. So what we wanna click on is processors and memory. So you click on that. I'm actually gonna bump this up to two cores just because it'll go a little bit quicker. And then I'm going to bump the RAM up to two gigs. So of course, if you have more memory selected, then things are gonna run a little bit smoother. So that's why I'm just gonna bump this up to uh, two gigs here. So that's saved right there. So we can X out of this, and then we're gonna click the play button. Now this is actually going to install Windows 10. Now I am gonna speed up through this process, but of course I'll stop at any steps along the way. All right, so here you can see that we have Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview selected. So once that's highlighted, just go ahead and click Next, and then it's going to start the install process of Windows. Now this is the part that's gonna take a little while. You'll also see the virtual machine actually restart, reboot a couple of times. So don't think that anything's wrong. If you do see that happening, that's just part of the whole install process. So I'm gonna speed up through this part and then I'll meet you once it's done.
All right, so here, once you get this screen, just let it do its thing. It's continuing to uh, set up your applications and everything, and then it's going to actually restart one more time. All right, so now we can see that our virtual machine has installed and it's opening up right now. Yeah, you're probably gonna get a uh, little window pop up right here that's gonna say that it's resizing all the icons and all that good stuff. Yeah, you can see that right here. It's modified the interface. So what it wants to do is log us out and then we can log back in. So we're just gonna click okay. It's gonna sign us out and then almost immediately we can sign back in. Now I didn't add a password or anything so I'm just gonna click sign in and it should go ahead and load right up. All right, so at this point, you can see that we have Windows 10 on our Mac. Now what we want to do, uh, one thing I probably could have done is just unzip this to begin with, which I'll do right now. So just double click on it and it's going to, as you can see, unzip right there. So now what we want to do is take this and iTunes. We're going to take Taiji and iTunes and then we're just going to drag it over and drop it. It's going to drop those onto the virtual machine here and then we can install iTunes Let's actually move this over here. And then we're gonna install iTunes here. So we're just gonna double click on it and it's gonna load up here and then it's gonna load up the tutorial. All right, so now we're just gonna click next and we can leave all this stuff here. We're just gonna click next again. And if you get this pop-up right here, just go ahead and click yes and let it install. It's possible you're gonna get another one of those pop-ups here shortly, but just click yes again and it'll install iTunes for us. All right, so here's that pop-up. Again, click yes and let it complete that installation. And once it's done installing, it'll ask you if you wanna open it up. Once you click finish, we'll just go ahead and leave that ticked and it should go ahead and open right up. So you'll get this pop-up here. Of course, we do not want to download, so we're gonna click Don't Download. We'll also click No Thanks right here. Now at this point, what we wanna do is go up here and click on Virtual Machine, and we're gonna go down here to USB and Bluetooth. Of course, you wanna make sure that your device is plugged in to your Mac right now, and then you'll see Connect Apple iPhone. So we're gonna go ahead and do just that. And you hear that little noise, that means that it did connect, and we should see it pop up right here. So if you get this pop up, what you wanna do is obviously unlock your device and then you'll get this right here. So we're just gonna tap on trust and then we're gonna tap on continue. And now we can actually get out of iTunes. And now we're gonna go ahead and open up Taiji, the jailbreak tool, and it should load up and it should recognize our device. So let's see if that actually works. All right, so you can see that it's recognized my iPhone 5S. It's running 8.4. Uh, what we wanna do here is untick the 3K Assistant because we don't want that on our device. We just want Cydia 1.1.19. Now, of course, you wanna do the exact same thing that you do in all other jailbreaks. You wanna make sure that you don't have a passcode enabled. You wanna make sure that Find My iPhone is disabled. What I also like to do is turn on Auto Lock to never, so just go to settings, general auto lock and put it on never. And then once you do all that, you're good to go. So now at this point, you can see, we're gonna click start and it should go ahead and jailbreak the device. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up through this process and then I'll meet you once it's done. All right, so you can see that the jailbreak has succeeded and we are booting up as we speak. All right, so now at this point, if we slide over, we should see Cydia. If we open that up, then it's going to prepare the file system as it always does. This can obviously take a little while, so I'll speed up through this process. All right, so it's prepared the file system, and now we can swipe over and open up Cydia here, and it should go ahead and load right up. So that's all you have to do to jailbreak on a Mac on iOS 8.4 or 8.3. Of course, if you have any issues whatsoever, just be sure to leave a comment in the comments below or follow me on Twitter 
and ask me there and I'll try to help you guys out. Of course, I'll be sticking around in the comments to help you guys out for quite some time. So if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, be sure to hit that like button because that really helps me out. So if you guys want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, till next time. Peace.